everybody and welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is jada and i go by the mint simmer if you're a returning watcher hi pookie so today we have an exciting episode of the westbrook so we are finally going to be playing the battalion ball ah, so exciting so yes the foxbury institute battalion ball is tomorrow night and yeah we're just kind of getting ready we're doing those last few things that we need to do for the event. But that's pretty much this whole episode. <laughs> it is just gonna be the event mainly. But right now, it is the day before, so it's a Friday. It's about Friday afternoon, the kids just got out of school. Dayton is here with all of his friends and the people that he's going to be, you know, participating with at the ball. So they're currently at the Grace Dance Studio, and this build is by Rhea28. <laughs> you should already know by now, okay? But yes, no, they're at the dance studio, and they're just practicing their ballroom dance that they're going to be performing in front of, you know, the parents, the adults, the dean of Foxbury Institute like it's a big deal okay and then our party I have it all set up it's like an art deco vibe you kind of saw it in the intro but yes I've worked really hard on this party okay <laughs> so I need everything to go the way that it's supposed to go okay we are here at the studio and they're getting their dance on it's literally It's so cute. There's a lot of people in the way, but it's okay because we'll see the full dance at the event. But yeah, we're pretty much just here with all the kiddos and I can kind of give like a small introduction of everyone, but yeah, I don't know. I might wait until the party because we are going to have them walk together, walk into the party. It's gonna be a whole thing, okay? So I'll probably just introduce everyone when they make their formal walk into the ball. But these are all of Dayton's friends from school. And yeah, these are all his little homies and girlies. But the beautiful Sim here that he's dancing with, her name is Sawyer. So I'll introduce Sawyer. This is Sawyer Cordero. And she is a obviously a teenager, <laughs> one of his classmates. He has like a super crush on her, so that's kind of like our vibe. And hopefully at the ball, I'm going to get him to interact with her a little bit more because they're getting closer as friends, like all of them are, you know, all of the kiddos that he hangs out with, his little crew. But um, yeah, he, ha he kind of has some hard eyes for Sawyer, so we're going to hopefully get some... I don't know, some cute little puppy love interactions at the ball, you know? But yes, so. So cute. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Camille is here, pretty much just chaperoning, watching over the kids, and she's watching the dance. She's so proud. Look at her. She's just, oh, she's having a good old time watching her son become a man. Um, Adeline is here. She's also watching Dayton and Manami's here too. Um, I don't know if you guys remember Manami, uh, Camille's assistant. She's been doing a little bit more extra intel on like the finances for the law firm. Um, she's starting to kind of notice a few things. So she wants to keep a closer eye on it and kind of start digging a little bit into maybe previous transactions and stuff like that. So she's been kind of attached to Camille's hip lately just because she wants to make sure that she's right there with her um, to give her any updates like as she's finding them. But yeah, I'm gonna let them finish their little dance. But yeah, no, this um, dance studio is like really nice. And yeah, this is kind of like the main dance room, but it's also a cafe. So I... We're gonna order, order a little macchiato. Uh, we'll get a cannoli. And then I'll literally have all the kids order food. It's a little snacky snack. And Camille's gonna pay for everything. She's like, I got it guys, like don't worry. 
I'm being the chaperone. Okay, what is going on? Hello? Okay, so I didn't really play test this lot, so. <laughs> Sorry. The party, though, has been play tested. All right, don't even worry about that. Uh, <laughs> this didn't really go the way that I wanted it to go. But I mean, it's okay. It's really just. It's not a big deal. Like, we came here to just practice. All right, so nothing's working. <laughs> Nothing is working. So Dayton lately has been doing really good in school. He just aced one of his tests today, so he's feeling really good. So, yeah, he's doing really good academic-wise. Like we said, we are going to get a little bit more into that part of it. Um, I think in the next few episodes, I am going to spend a day with Dayton at his high school at Copperdale. And, yeah, we'll kind of get to get a feel on how his everyday school life is. But, of course, we're just worried about the ball today. And he is going to try to make a good impression on the Dean of Foxbury and some of the alumni that's there. You know, just to kind of put it in their ears like, hey, you know. He's a prospect for Foxbury and he wants to follow the footsteps of his parents and his grandparents. Period, because we're a Foxbury family, okay? So the weather has been like really bad in my game. Like it's just constantly raining. So I have to keep constantly cheating the rain to not rain. It's been driving me freaking crazy. If there's a mod or something for that, let me know. That can like regulate the weather a little bit more. Because I would prefer it. Oh my god. <laughs> what is he scared about? Oh, probably the weather, right? Very playful. Okay, so he's feeling good. He aced his exam, like I had told y'all. He's happy because he's in a club gathering with his friends. And yeah, everyone's pretty much just chilling. Oh, he's talking to Adeline. Oh, what is Adeline mad about? Oh, okay. She's just telling a crazy story. And Dayton's like, girl, what? He's like, he's like, girl, what the hell are you talking about? So before we kind of end this little, like, just kind of hang out for Dayton and his friends, I'm going to have him talk over, or talk over, I'm going to have him kind of just talk with his friends a little bit. They're just going to talk about taste in music. Um, I'm going to ask about hobbies like i don't know just get to know them a little bit more show off app and okay so yeah i'm gonna have him just kind of talk with the other kids not all of them but the ones that are over here and then like i said y'all we are going to formally introduce his friends once they kind of walk you know and do their thing at the party he has the cringe trait which he'll get a couple of buffs for it when he's doing interactions <laughs> but oh my god he just <laughs> he just mushed her and left that's crazy he's like girl follow my twitter i'm so funny on there all right you guys so it's about eight o'clock almost nine o'clock i'm gonna have everyone go home so we can, you know, do what we need to do Saturday morning and get ready for this ball. Everyone's going to get nice and dapper, put on their nice clothes. And yes, I will see you guys at the party once everything is set up. Okay, bye. Oh my God, y'all. We made it to the party. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys have no idea how much time it took to get everyone here get them seated get them posed because i wasn't about to deal with people getting up during the performance okay so we made it to the party and we are here with our our bows in their debutante so we're gonna kind of introduce everyone like i had mentioned so this is sawyer and this is dayton's crush so luckily for him he got paired up with her for the walkout and the ballroom dance that they're about to do here in a second and yeah it's okay so on the left we have alexis marchetti and on the right we have zion calloway 
these are two celebrity children and Zion um, Dayton is starting to get a little closer with I think that's gonna be like one of his like his right hand men and then Alexis she's real bougie she has a snob trait so she kind of thinks that Dayton is a little cringy <laughs> but I mean she still talks to him and stuff And then next we have Ember Donahue on the left and then Arush Basu on the right. Um, Arush was on our last episode or the episode where I had had them go shopping. Um, so he's someone that Dayton has known from grade school and they've known each other for years. Or Ember is one of his new friends. And yeah, so she has the cheerful and loyal trait. So she's very upbeat, very nice. And they come from old money as well. And then Arush is outgoing and adventurous. Also one of Dayton's really, really close friends. And then lastly, but definitely not least, we have Zora Balfour and KJ Bellamy. KJ is also, I mean, pretty much all the boys <laughs> Dayton is like super close with. Like those are his bros. And then the girls, they're kind of just here. Zora is a party animal and she's self-absorbed, so she's a little snobby too, okay? <laughs> so yes, we're here at the party. I just wanted to introduce our ladies and men of the hour. As you can see, we have a full house. All the tables are full for the most part. <laughs> we got the family over here. Look at them. They're just so proud. Like <laughs> They're so proud of him. Isn't that so cute? But yes, we have our girlies over here. Maddie's over here. Addie's over here. And let me tell y'all, everyone is posed like Wicked Whims posed because I was like, no, we're not going to have everybody getting up, moving around, doing a whole bunch of stuff. We will do that when we get to the dinner part of this party. But right now it is about the kids. So as you can see, they are walking. Oh yes, and our entertainment for the night is going to be Orchid and the Go-Go's. Okay, so period. They're singing, playing the piano, doing the most okay so yes that's our entertainment and then this is our venue this is like a art deco style party we do have dinner here that we're going to get to very soon on the menu today we have some walleye we have some lobster tortellini we have some blue steak and beef wellington and then we have some cupcakes which are functional we'll get to that in a second and also the cake over here so yes we kind of are giving a little bit of great gatsby a little bit of art deco that was the vibe for tonight okay and then we have some guests here um apart from the usual guests that we have usually at our events that we'll get to and talk to here in a moment but yes we're gonna let them get their walk in it's literally just a quick walk. Hold on, yeah. How beautiful. Oh my god, girl. Not her fucking getting in the way. Isn't that sweet? It kind of clips a little bit, but y'all get the gist, okay? I'm just so like, oh my god. like, And you know, it honestly would have been so much more like, oh, like super sweet if we would have actually cared about Dayton before he became <laughs> teenager but you know what it's okay like he's gonna be such a young like i don't know a young mogul i just see it for him like he's gonna be that dude and this is the start i'm just so proud of him like look at him he's just this handsome dapper he's got himself together like i said he aced his test he's getting good grades in school He's been asked like three times by three different people to go to prom with him. So, and he had to decline because obviously he wants to go with Sawyer. So yeah, we just are setting him up to really have like a beautiful life, okay? <laughs> okay, so since we got like our formal introduction to our kiddos, I'm gonna have Dayton do his beautiful dance that he learned with his date for the night. And then we're gonna get into all the fun stuff, okay? Oh my god, y'all! 
They're so cute. Like, <laughs> wait, because guys, wait, are you joking? Are you joking me? Oh, look, his parents, they're just watching and all. Oh, they just are so happy and so proud of him. Oh my gosh, he's becoming a man, you guys, right in front of our eyes. This is so freaking adorable. That was beautiful. Okay, so we did our little battalion activities the rest of the stuff is kind of more on like a social vibe like i said the dean is over here he's literally right here with his wife and we need to do that we need to take some pictures we need to get social with our friends and the adults here and and we need to eat too so that is what we're about to do so yeah y'all just give me like one second and i'm gonna get everybody ready for dinner Okay, bye. Hey, All right, so you're gonna know what time it is. We'd like everybody come eat. Thank you. So, so. Same old, same old. Like, come get the food. It's time to eat, baby. See, so, yeah, I will get to everybody's fits and stuff here in a second. I just want to get, you know, we got to get this party started. Okay, cool. People are starting to sit. I'm like, uh, hello. <laughs> Y'all know how Sims parties are. Look, Tatum, y'all. I hate that bitch. Like, <laughs> she's crazy. So, yeah, I do want Dayton to just kind of get a little acquainted with his friends a little bit more. So they can just have fun here at this event. And then I do want him to, like, have a moment alone with Sawyer. So hopefully we can do that. I don't know. Oh, Noom. Y'all know Sims time goes so fast, it's already midnight, but we gonna be here until the party's over, okay? And it's not over until I say it's motherfucking over. What's Adeline up to? Oh, okay, so where's Kaysen? There he is. Girl, come talk to your man. I don't know, I just want her to like kiss him. Yeah, just give him a kiss. Oh, just give him a hug and a surprise kiss. That's cute. <laughs> And everyone looks phenomenal tonight. Everyone is just dressed to the nines. Like, look at Adeline. She's giving, like, with the slit, the pearls, the hair. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Why are we smoking again? Madison looks good. She's got that shit on. Okay. It's giving, like, Vivian Westwood a little bit. I don't know, she looks good as fuck. Oh, cute, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it doesn't really... S you know what? I'm gonna let them have their moment, okay? Today's about day in again. So he ate already? Okay, cool. So, y'all, the doors are locked, so we're cheating. Bladders, hungers, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna have him... Where did Sawyer go? Where is she at? Let's see, Sawyer's right here. We are going to... I don't know. Hey. Let's offer her a rose. That seems appropriate for the night, you know what I mean? Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I didn't even freaking do it. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, romance, flirtation. Let's. Oh, okay. Well, it didn't even work. Okay. Let's... Let's ask about attractive 
preferences, I guess. Like, girl, what is your type anyway? I like wavy hair. Okay, period, because Dayton's hair is a swim. Hey, hey, we sway. We serve it. <laughs> I want Dayton to take a couple selfies. Take a photo. Let's take one with Sawyer. Like, he's really trying to get in with her, okay? Trying to get his flirt on. He's like, girl, I like you. Like, I hope you like me too. Cute. Aww, they're so adorable. This one's cute as fuck. Cute. Cute. Period. Now they have memories. Okay, so I need... I need Dayton to come talk with some of his family. I'm gonna have him talk to Maddie, I guess. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, we're gonna go be cringe to Maddie and tell her the worst puns imaginable. Okay, so let's see what's going on over here. Camille is talking to Darius. This is Roderick Saylor. Okay. The current, or one of the current deans of Foxbury. He's one of the more, like, prestigious ones, you know? The ones that can pull the most strings, basically. And yeah, this is his wife, Priscilla Saylor. And yeah, Priscilla's kind of a fucking bitchy, snobby bitch. And yeah, <laughs> she's kind of an asshole. But, um... Roderick's pretty cool, and yeah, as long as he feels like the kids that he wants to admit into Foxbury kind of just are good enough, you know? <laughs> um, he doesn't really require a whole lot for him to kind of give the green light on on new students, so. But, you know, in terms of, like, fraternities and stuff like that, he was in the frat with... Darius the same one that he was in so it gets a little bit deeper than just like basic admission because a lot of people you know they kind of just they can make it into Foxbury but they might not be able to stay at Foxbury you know what I'm saying so yeah anyway this is the man with the plan and yeah I need Dayton to talk to him a little bit today because we need to make sure that he gets his little in for college because Dayton is very much wanting to go to college and follow in the footsteps of his parents so okay i'm trying to see what else we can do so i do want people to kind of like dance a little bit i'm gonna have them group dance him and his friends this is cute wait yeah <laughs> so cute Oh my gosh, and then after this, I want Dayton to maybe go outside with Sawyer a little bit. And, I don't know, they're going to have a little moment. Oh! Period. The dances on the game are so unserious, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yeah, hit him with that. Oh, Darius likes to dance. Who cares about Darius? Okay, same with Eugene. Okay. Dang, everybody likes to dance. I love that. <laughs> Speaking of Deidre, she's funky. Oh my god, her all her shit's fucked up. Let me just fix it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have Dayton and Sawyer come outside for a second. So this, like, really cute, like, little... I don't know, this little cute area. This is a wedding venue that I got, you guys. It's a Cypress wedding video. I forgot who made it. I don't believe it's Raya 2028, um, but I'll have it in the description. But yeah, no, I just wanted him to like, I don't know, it's pretty over here. Isn't it dreamy? So I don't know, he's gonna like just, oh my God, ask her about woohoo. We're not doing that, be a gentleman. 
So, oh my gosh. So he can give a romantic gift. Let's do that first. We'll give her a cafe gift card. <laughs> I don't know. I guess. That was from his birthday party. But he can go ahead and give that to her. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh, she looks happy about it. She's like, for me? Okay. Okay. Okay, and so it's sorry, yeah, it's, it's a little dark. It's a little dark, but I'm going to have him confess his crush now and see if it works out for him. Oh my gosh, and she gave him, wait, she gave him a heart, or a heart. She gave him a rose. Wait, that's too cute. <laughs> Sawyer gave Dayton a gift along with a lovely message. My heart leaps when you are near. I love you more and more each and every day. Hello, I love you. You know kids, they be ready to say I love you. They don't even know each other for real. They're so cute though. Okay, wait, 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 wait. What's next? So he's gonna reveal the crush. Let's see. Oh, lava. He's like, girl, I fuck with you heavy. Lava. Sinister personality archetype hint. Byron Fink shows signs of the sinister personality archetype. Sinister Sims are always up to no good, trying to achieve their goals no matter the consequences. Oh my god. Okay, so did that work? I don't really... So Sawyer, she's feeling very flirty. I'm giving a gift. Like, and he's good. He wasn't rejected. I just don't really know, like... If it, oh, oh, so now they have a romance bar. They're lovebirds, a connection of curious hearts. This is shaping up to be a beautiful romance. Okay, period. Okay, so we have to do what we set here to do, okay? Which is like, you know, have the party, but we gotta talk to the dean. Okay, <laughs> um, where's the dean? This is Sims for you, y'all. I'm telling you, he stay with a cigarette. Like, he does not put them motherfuckers down. This is so chaotic. Sawyer is going through a phase. Sawyer is feeling distant and will prefer to be alone for a while. Okay. Like, girl, we'll give you your space. We're trying to find the fucking Dean. Where did he go? I don't know if he's here anymore, you guys. We might have missed our goddamn opportunity. Oh, he's gone. Fuck. <laughs> that would have been a perfect opportunity. You know, it's okay, though. Like, it's fine. It's fine. We'll get another chance to talk to the Dean. I'm gonna have... Oh, damn. They fucked them cupcakes up. God damn. Damn, niggas is hungry. Where did Kaysen go? Is Kaysen still here? It looks like everyone just kind of started leaving. All right, y'all. It's getting towards that time. Like, it's time to wrap this shit up. It is 6 a.m. And we're just going to act like it's still nighttime. Y'all know how Sims time can be, okay? Like, it's literally so ridiculous. All right, so I'm just going to have Camille wish Dayton just like, you know, just give him love and appreciation and her just telling him that she's so proud of him, you know? She's proud of his, his achievements thus far, and she can't wait to see what he does in the future. And, oh! And he's just like, Mom, you're such an inspiration to me. So sweet. He loves his mom to death. His dad, too. Like, he loves his family, but I don't know. He loved him some Camille. Some Camille and Adeline. He loved him, too, to death. Aww. They're so cute. 
All right, you guys. So we're just going to go ahead and wrap our episode up here. It's starting to get a little too chaotic for me, okay? <laughs> but we got everything that we needed to get done except for talk to the Dean. So now we got to find another time to make that happen. Maybe when he goes on his tour to Foxbury, then he can meet the Dean then. That's what I'm kind of thinking. But in terms of college, we're not doing college play until like way later. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I have planned anyway but I do want to start kind of planting those seeds for day in and just make it a really realistic college venture like experience I guess but I would say that the Batillion ball was a success we were able to do our beautiful ballroom dance that he practiced for and it came out so sweet so perfect all the ladies looked beautiful all the men looked dapper and yeah, we just had a nice little soiree. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Just a little tidbit before we go. Um, Darius did leave early. <laughs> so he's not here. You know, coming towards the end of this episode, he's gone. Tatum is gone. And Byron is gone. So, um yeah i'm gonna just go ahead and go to the cinematic outro now <laughs> this is why i said just kind of make sure that we it's not morning time like it's it's still night okay because of the cinematic outro <laughs> but yes i think we're almost at 2800 on youtube if i'm not mistaken i'll correct myself if so but or if not but thank you guys i just want to say i appreciate you guys rocking with me in the stories um also, I have been putting a little bit more time into the Westbrooks lately, but I didn't forget about Elise, y'all. I know some of you guys here really do like the mint condition story. I didn't forget about it. I'm actually about to film for that next. So I plan to have a two piece this weekend. So this one's gonna go up first and I should have a mint condition episode up by Sunday. So yeah, I'll see y'all when I upload that video. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and go to our outro now. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you so much, Pookie. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.